Yo, what's up everybody, OJ here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at some of my favorite games from the recent Indie World presentation. Nintendo Switch titles here. There was a lot of great games, so if your game that you're looking forward to isn't in my video here, that's okay. Check out the link in the description. There's a lot of great games, but these are the ones that caught my eye the most. So we're gonna start off with Devolver Digitals. Exit the Gungeon, because that game is now available. Shadow Drop, right, out of nowhere. Nobody expected this one. So let's go ahead and get into it, and we'll talk about some of these other games. So publisher Devolver Digital and developer Dodge Roll and Single Core have released Exit the Gungeon for the Nintendo Switch via the Nintendo Switch eShop and PC via Steam, alongside version 2.0 update for the Apple Arcade version. The Switch version is a timed console exclusive, so timed console exclusive on this one. So here are some of the new features in the game. You have new weapons, items, enemies, and bosses, revamped gungeon with new rooms and elevators, rebalanced and reloaded gameplay, hats, mini games, and gungeon dwellers. So there's a lot of cool stuff that they've done in here. A lot of different tweaks and enemy placements and rebalances for the version 2.0 update. And this game is really like a bullet hell dungeon type of shooter and it follows exactly after so if you've beaten the first game which i didn't beat the first game but if you've beaten it you play right after that and then you have to basically get out from there so it's pretty cool and it's collapsing like everything's collapsing so the mission structure and what you're doing is completely different and everything so i'm actually really down for this type of game like i like the combat i like the controls i like the premise the only thing that i don't like is that it's a rogue game you die you go back to the beginning i've never been a fan of those type of games ever since it hit me by surprise that these games even exist with has been heroes on the nintendo switch back when that game came out i didn't know it was a rogue game and i bought it and i was having fun then all of a sudden i kept on going back to the beginning i was like what is going on here so i'm not a huge fan of them but i did play enter the gungeon and i love the game it's just the whole rogue aspect so i'll probably pick this one up i think it's a pretty cool game and it's a uh switch timed exclusive timed console exclusive so pretty good stuff there so what are you guys' thoughts on exit the gungeon for the nintendo switch you guys are gonna be picking this one up it's available now shadow drop nine dollars and 99 cents let me know your thoughts in the comment section below all right now moving on to the next game this one i guess i'm not as interested in in terms of me playing but maybe even watching a let's play and that is baldo for the nintendo switch but it's also coming to the playstation 4 xbox one and pc so the shell shaded action adventure game baldo will launch for the nintendo switch this summer as a timed console exclusive developer naps team announced it will support english french italian german and spanish language options Baldo was also planned for release on the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And here's a little bit of an overview of this game. And this game really reminds me of like a Zelda slash Nino Kuni or Studio Ghibli style of game, just with the art and the puzzles and everything. So, uh, prophecy came true. A pure heart child is born. The no heart creature sealed in the underworld by the wise owls is about to rise again. A journey into a magical land full of mysteries to discover. Baldo is an action RPG adventure full of puzzles and intricate dungeons to solve. Traveling around the world, Baldo will interact with many weird and funny characters scattered everywhere to complete the main story quest and many other side quests. You'll travel into an open world discovering new towns and people, fighting enemies, locating hidden temples, and collecting objects to get new weapons or items to use. So this is not necessarily my complete style of game in terms of it. Like, it seems like there's going to be a lot of puzzles and stuff like that, but I love the art style. I like what they're doing, and I can really appreciate the grind from this developer. They're not a big team, and they are working extremely hard on this style of game. And to make a game that looks like this, it's very impressive when it comes to the art and the animation for as as small as the team is so i'm excited to kind of talk about the game and kind of let you guys know because a lot of you guys were really excited when this was first shown off and really loved the style and everything just not necessarily my style of game but definitely caught my eye in terms of let's plays or checking out somebody else watching the game so yeah baldo coming this summer timed exclusive for the nintendo switch when it comes down to it so what do you guys think of baldo for the nintendo switch and other systems as well let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, next up is one of the games that was probably one of the more interesting aspects. And it's this game called Quantum Lee. It was previously only on the PC and I never heard about this game, but now it's also gonna be launching for the PS4, Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch. And this is the first time that I even heard about it at all, you know? So it was really interesting and kind of fun to see this game. And it has a very unique hook to it. So we're gonna go ahead and 
talk about that. So this is from developer Nimble Giant Entertainment, and here is the game. It's an alternate universe where time travel manipulation has changed the face of professional sports as we know it. Quantum League, a heavily weaponized team-based shooting sport, dominates the globe. As a quantum athlete, compete in one versus one or two versus two matches in special designed arenas with a time loop feature that rewinds and revives you, allowing you to technically team up with yourself. Your goal is to dominate the sports rankings, chasing superstar status with rewards of great fame and wealth as you progress. But agility, speed, and skill are not enough to rise to the top. The ability to tactically play with yourself is important too, okay? That sounds interesting. Um, next up, we're going to talk about the key features here. So we have unique time loop game mechanic. Dominate each round by taking advantage of the cloning time loop in each arena to outmaneuver your opponent. Consider where you were and where you want to be to make that final winning shot turning the tide of the battle in an instant. So some strategy elements as well. Multiple options for combat. Play solo against an online opponent in one versus one battles or dial up the power of two versus two multiplayer matches. Chase the top of the competitive leaderboard for global recognition. You can also play in different game modes, including deathmatch and capture point across nine different arenas. Choose from six different characters to play and level up as you progress unlocking new outfits and styles as you evolve. And then you also can select from six different weapons and head into the quantum arena. So definitely some content there. I'm not so sure how this game is. I didn't check out the game on PC via Steam. But the graphics actually look pretty smooth for a smaller developer slash publisher. And um, it looks like it could be very interesting with some unique mechanics as well. So that game caught my eye. I'm not sure if it's going to be for me, but it definitely caught my eye. Now, next up for the last game here, we're going to talk about this action adventure ninja game. And it's called Blue Fire. And this was the first game that they showed off. And it really caught my eye because I love the ninja moves full 3D. And it's going to be a timed exclusive for the Nintendo Switch. So publisher Graffiti Games and developer Roby Studios have announced action adventure game Blue Fire for the Nintendo Switch. It launches a timed console exclusive this summer and support French, Portuguese, German, Russian, Chinese, English, Spanish, and Italian language options. Hey, there we go. I love the language support. Now, here's some more information about this game. A dark world awaits. Travel through the perished world of... I cannot say the name, to explore unique <laughs> areas filled with diverse enemies, sharp 3D platforming challenges, quests, collectibles, and more. Embark on an extraordinary adventure through the desolate kingdom of that area and discover the hidden secrets of this long forgotten land. Explore mystical temples, encounter survivors, and take on strange quests to collect valuable items along your adventure, slash your way through daunting adversaries, roam across mysterious and abandoned regions, leap through deadly traps, and ultimately master the art of movement. Here are the features in the game, a haunting world, slash your way through great adversaries, dangerous enemies, distinct fighting styles, intense combat platforming boss fights, encounter peculiar survivors, so you can come across as the survivors and they can give you different types of items and also have quests for you. You have collectibles, once a rich lush kingdom, this kingdom is filled with collectibles and items to discover, loot, collect, sell, trade, and purchase. So I love that aspect, that's gonna make it a must play for me. You have upgrades, so you can go through, upgrade your different equipment, and you can upgrade your swords, collect valuable amulets, upgrade different abilities, transform into a crazy and fierce fighter, they say. You can also be lost in the void. There's a lost void there, so you can find these void entrances throughout them and cover the abstract platforming challenges that require great mastery to gather the value rewards hidden within. So if you find these different voids, you can go through them, and that's what you saw in the trailer, just like those voids. You get through them, they're challenging, then you get some type of reward at the end of it. It's almost like a shrine in Breath of the Wild or something like that. So great stuff there. I'm actually really looking forward to this game. To me, this was like the best in terms of like brand new IP or new game that we've never seen. Blue Fire looked the best out of all the different games. After that was Exit the Gungeon. I think that game is amazing, but Blue Fire to me was the best game of the show that I'm most excited to play out of everything that we saw. Now, there was a number of great games, guys. There was just so much stuff. I can't go over everything. There was a uh, different strategy game for Rhea. There was Pixel Junk Eden 2. The Last Campfire looked good. The Good Life with Swery, they added a Switch version as well. Um, there was a lot of cool stuff here. Summer in uh, Mara, that was also a pretty cool looking game. Shoot 'em up called B Arc or Bark as well. There was like some cool stuff, you know. But um, overall, those were the games that kind of caught my eye the most. So I'm going to ask you guys a question. What was your grade for the whole presentation? 
for me, I'd give it a solid C plus, so like a 7.5, 7.7, somewhere in that range. I think it was solid. I think there was some better shows. I was kind of expecting maybe something from Crosscode or even Silk Song, Hollow Knight Silk Song. We didn't get anything from those two games. Some people even talk about Spelunky or something like that. So if it had Hollow Knight Silk Song and if it had Crosscode, I think it would have been like a 9 or like a high 8. But I'm going to go ahead and give it like a 7.5 five or so so i'm going to give it like a c c plus in terms of that range so what were your best games what was your grade for this show i'd love to hear you guys' thoughts in the comment section below all right guys thank you so much for watching make sure you check out the link in the description we've got twitter go ahead and give us a follow on there stay up to date on all the latest gaming news and information also make sure you like comment and subscribe and share this video if you can thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you for the next one peace